Hi guys. Uh, so um, just I just finished the video before. So today I, uh, I'll be talking about uh, uh, the pharmaceutical industry. You know, you know why so many people are taking drugs for you know well-being. You know, it's chemistry, changing the inner chemistry, and then you become happy. Um, you know, I'm just talking about mainly about the psychiatric medications, you know, generally, um, which has been <clears throat> the code for many, many industries, uh, many doctors around the world who, where they use psychiatric medication to change the brain chemistry of, our, of us. You know, there's a problem with the system. As we have observed, uh, you know, in the world, moreover, uh, in the in the US and the in all the countries where the people take these medications, it's obviously prescribed by medical practitioners. Uh, what we have seen is these medications are are not really doing the job they are they are meant to do which is to cure the pain or the mental suffering the patient is going through. This is unfortunate. Uh, the problem is uh, uh, these medications do not address the root cause, the root cause of the problem, uh, which is not chemical. It is not chemical uh, because why do you think the brain chemistry or any chemistry in the brain is changing? The root cause is your thoughts, your own emotions. Obviously, there is a certain amount which can be genetic, which has to be cured by, by medications. But the majority of the cases, I would say more than 90% of the cases is not brain chemistry. It is the environment in which we are living, a stressful en environment, uh, it is uh, the the exposure we get in life, the situations which over, overwhelm us, uh, and those things which trigger the change in brain chemistry, and we put the blame that it's all brain chemistry and it's not our mental health. It's not brain chemistry. It is not physical. It's non physical stuff. It is our thoughts, our emotions, which backfire and cause uh, change to the mental equilibrium person um i would say allopathy is not dealing with this well it is not dealing with this well because it doesn't take into consideration the root cause which is the our own thoughts and our own feelings and our own emotions we have no control of them because they are subjected to the external environment so when all our thoughts and emotions are changing, are in all the time constant change, ups and downs, ups and downs of the life from the external world, it is a result in sickness, illness or depression or whatever name you want to call it, mental problems or suffering. And we end up taking drugs. Some bite of the back street, like weed, all this psychedelic drugs and all the all pleasure drugs like um, uh, you know all the drugs in the marketplace and off the back stays obviously it's all illegal so so the reason why people take the medications is is not actually it's not addressing the root cause the root cause is something within something inside it is not of the medic medication so what is the solutions to this? What is the solution to this? If you ask me, I, I'm not I'm not willing to provide a solution to your problem. I'm just giving my views on the topic. So don't just take my view and just keep it aside. If you are under undergoing a certain treatment, don't stop your medication. Obviously, you should not stop it. Continue it. It's good. It will help you. But I'm not I'm saying it's not the only it is not the permanent solution. It is just the root cause of the problem. It is not it is not covering the root cause it is only hampering or only changing the regulating the chemistry within you for a temporary time and then it will it will obviously when life situation comes about and you become stressed and then again 
the depression starts. So the root causes it's not addressed by these medications. So what we should focus on is what is inside the, the inner chemistry. So this can be only changed by holistic ways like yoga, meditation, pranayama. You know, these things uh, change our inner chemistry without taking any drugs from the outside. So they actually induces a certain calm in us, these practices, I would call them, uh, which calms us down and you will not need any drugs or any medications for you to be blissed out half the time. So, so there's no question of depression or any uh, problem when you do these practices. And obviously the right philosophy of the, uh, for example, Vedanta or, uh, uh, you know, the right methods in which you can transform your inner chemistry is very important. Uh, and, um, you know, if you, uh, if you go to the modern culture in the West of, you say, U USA or, you know, the Western world, they follow all these modified versions of yoga, which is, which is not really helpful. You know, it is not the proper classical way in which you change your inner chemistry. So, so this is actually the solution by yoga, doing meditation the right way. In the right way, it will eliminate depression or any of the mental sufferings you have. Uh, allopathy, I would, for me personally, is not the is not a good way. It is uh, because it doesn't address the root cause. Once you stop the medication, you will get into withdrawal. And it is a endless loop. So you need to take the medication again in order to sustain you, sustain you throughout. So it, it doesn't make sense, right? So a better alternative would be this for a long-term solution. And overall, your health, even your physical well-being can be taken care of by yoga and meditation, actually. It will reduce, it will not, if not null, fully stop it, even if you... Even, for example, it will prevent you from having a diabetes or you know, heart attacks or any of these um, physical ailments, which chronic ailments, which we get. So this can also, this all, these all, this also can be sorted out actually with the um, inner practices, we, um, which, which, uh, which is taught by the ancients, ancient wisdom, which means transferred to a modern age. Um, hope you like my video. Uh, so this is what I have uh, for the topic. Uh, okay, thank you.